Cats and dogs are often portrayed as enemies. Is it possible for the two species to live happily under one roof? You can't force your pets to like each other. We don't have a crystal ball to predict whether or not your pets will be friends, but we do have techniques that will increase your chances of success significantly. Keep watching this video to learn 10 easy steps that will help you with introducing a dog and a cat into your home with ease. Before we get into this, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more doggy tips and best practices. Leave a comment down below saying I subscribe and we will try our best to personally respond to your comments. The first goal when introducing cats and dogs is to ensure that whichever animal is already resident in the home is as unaffected as possible. This leads us to our first step, provide a safe space. Whether you are introducing a new cat to your resident dog or vice versa, you will need to provide a safe area for the cat that your dog will not be able to access. If you are taking on a new cat, a spare room is ideal as they will need time to adjust to their new surroundings. If you are bringing in a new dog, choose an area that you know your existing cat will feel safe. Move all essentials to this area, a bed, food and water and a litter tray, even if your cat normally toilets outside. Even if your resident cat is confident, the introduction of a new dog will be unsettling at first, so safe access to resources will be necessary. You will also want to ensure that there are plenty of high resting places where your cat or kitten will be able to easily and safely retreat away from your dog, if they want to. Two, use scents to prepare your resident pet for the new arrival. If you're bringing a new cat into a house with a dog, you should introduce the dog to the cat smell before the actual cat arrives. Give the dog items that belong to the cat to sniff and become acquainted with its scent. For example, you could allow the dog to smell a blanket or pillow that the cat likes to sleep on. Allowing your dog to know the scent of the cat it will meet ahead of time will reduce the dog's energy at the first meeting. Smelling a smell it has smelled before is much less exciting than smelling a new smell. Installing a Feliway cat calming diffuser a few days before you bring your new pet home is also a good idea especially if the cat has not lived with dogs before or is of a nervous disposition. A Feliway diffuser emits pheromones that help cats feel safe, so this can help the cat feel more comfortable during the introduction period. You can find it in the description below. Three set up a baby gate. Baby gates are invaluable when introducing cats and dogs as they allow the pets to see and smell each other safely and allow for dog-free areas, which are essential until both animals see each other as one of the family. They come in various heights, so choose an appropriate one for you. If you don't have a baby gate set up already, introduce one as early as you can to allow the existing pet to get used to it prior to bringing the new pet home. If you like the sleek, retractable baby gate in this video, you can find it in the description below. 4. Teach the dog obedience commands to control its behavior around the cat. Before you introduce a dog and cat, it's a good idea to have trained your dog in basic commands. This will allow you to control its behavior despite the dog's impulses. This could be a command like leave it or leave alone. Use this command whenever you want the dog to leave the cat alone. This could even be of use if the dog is not acting aggressively, but you're afraid that the cat might. Number five, keep the dog and cat separated in the early days. Once your new cat or dog is home, it is best to keep them separate at first. If you're bringing a new cat into your home, avoid the temptation to let them explore your home at first as they will need a few days to adjust to their new surroundings. This will also give you plenty of time to carry out the important process of scent swapping. To do this, stroke each pet without washing your hands to mix scents and exchange bedding regularly. Also, gather scents from the new pet's head by gently stroking with a soft cloth and dabbing this around your home and furniture to mix with your existing pet scent. For this reason, it is useful to delay the pets from meeting for a few days or even a week. If you have brought in a new cat, let them explore the rest of the house when your dog is out of the house for a few hours. You also have the option to monitor your pets when you are not home with a pet camera. Pet cameras like the Pet Cube Bites 2, which is a Wi-Fi pet cam with a built-in treat dispenser, eases anxiety by letting you see, talk to, and play with your pet. 
You can use it to fling calming treats to your dogs or just to remotely treat and reward your pooch for good behavior. Pet cameras are the latest breakthrough in pet care. There is also another camera similar to the Pet Cube Bite, but instead of dispensing treats, it comes with a built-in laser pointer so you can play laser chase with your high-energy cat when you're out working or running errands. Both pet monitors feature HD quality video, two-way audio night vision, and a built-in treat dispenser or laser toy. You can find them in the description. If you like what you see so far, subscribe and give us a like. Hit the notification bell so you are notified anytime we upload. Number six, use a barrier for the first introduction. Bring the dog and cat on opposite sides of a closed door or baby gate with a person on both sides. Don't restrain your cat at all, feeling like she can't get away may frighten her. Let them sniff under the door or through the gate, but if your cat doesn't want to get too close, don't force her. Lavish them both with praise, attention, and treats. You want them to think that good things happen when the other pet is around. Ask the dog to sit, lie down, and perform any other commands he knows, praising and rewarding him whenever he focuses on you and not the cat. Keep practicing this step until the cat doesn't seem frightened and the dog doesn't seem overly excited. Number 7. Perform second introduction with the dog on the leash. With the help of another adult, let the cat and dog see each other for the first time. Don't hold or restrain the cat because this may make him feel trapped and he may become aggressive. Keep the dog on a leash and allow the cat to approach the dog if he wants to. If the cat does not want to approach the dog or if the animals are growling at one another, then they're not ready to be friends. If the dog is calm around the cat, you can ask the dog to sit or lie down and stay if she has been taught those cues while the cat moves about freely sniffing the dog, if he wishes. The dog should be praised and rewarded if she ignores the cat. If the dog is too fixated on the cat, for example, like staring at the cat, has stiff body language, or will not listen to you when you call her name, or if she lunges and tries to chase the cat, go back a few steps and keep them apart for a while longer. If you keep those controlled, short meetings up regularly, you should see an increase in the cat's confidence and a reduction in the dog's excitement. Number 8. Always pay attention to body language of both animals. When introducing your dog to a cat, pay attention to the body language of both animals. If the cat's ears are pinned back or his tail is swishing back and forth, this is a good indicator that he is displeased. You particularly want to be aware of dog body language that could be potential warning signs. If your dog has a strong prey drive, the inclination to seek out, chase, and potentially capture animals seen as prey, usually smaller animals such as cats, she might become very focused on the cat. She'll stiffen, stare, and may start barking or whining. If you see these signs, do not let her near the cat. In addition, a dog's interaction with the cat can change depending on the environment. Just because your dog is okay with the cat inside the house doesn't mean she'll exhibit that same behavior outdoors. She might fixate on the cat and start stalking him when they are outside together. So be aware of her body language around the cat in each new situation until you know how she is going to respond towards him. Number 9. Keep feeding areas separate. Many conflicts that occur between cats and dogs begin with food. This usually entails the dog wanting the cat's food and the cat not liking that. To avoid conflict over food, feed the pets in different areas. If your cat has its own area, feed it there. It's important that the dog does not have any access to the cat's food. If your cat and dog get used to each other and you want to feed them in the same room, then you can simply feed your cat on an elevated area that the dog cannot get to, such as your kitchen counter. Height gives the cat a sense of security. Number 10. Do not allow unsupervised interactions for at least a month. Only once your animals are totally accustomed to one another should you ever leave them alone together. Always give each animal a means to find privacy. This could be a cat door, doggy door, high shelves, or small recess so the animals can have their space. It will take at least a month for supervised interactions to be safe. You may need longer than a month depending on the temperament of your animals. Do not leave them alone unsupervised until they largely ignore one another. Remember that all pets are very different and you'll have to work at the pace that they are comfortable with. Some introductions will progress quickly without a hitch, but others may take several months. It's important not to rush things. 
take things slowly and carefully, and this will hopefully result in your cat and dog living together peacefully or even becoming the best of friends. The moment you bring a baby home is one of the greatest joys in life, but it can be very tricky introducing a baby into your dog's life. The key to having your dog and baby get along is to plan ahead. Check out this video to learn our step-by-step -step guide for introducing your dog to your newborn, starting with things you can do to help the transition while you're pregnant. If you're new to our channel and you like it, leave us a comment and please subscribe.